Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major veins of the hepatic portal system and the significance of this circulatory route. In my veins of the abdomen and pelvis video I reviewed the major veins of the abdominal cavity including veins that drain the reproductive organs, kidneys, and adrenal glands. Note that I didn't include any of the veins that drain organs of the digestive system, such as the stomach and intestines. That's because these gastrointestinal, or GI organs, are drained by veins that make up the hepatic portal circulation. This circulatory route drains venous blood from the digestive organs and spleen directly into the liver. The word hepatic refers to anything having to do with the liver. These veins transport blood from one capillary network into another. That is what portal refers to, carrying blood from the GI tract and spleen capillaries to the open and porous sinusoidal capillaries of the liver. The hepatic portal system is like a bypass, similar to a highway bypass around a city, rerouting the venous blood flow in the abdomen around the inferior vena cava and instead delivering it into the liver. This is significant because venous blood from the GI tract must be processed in the liver before it can be returned to the general systemic circulation. This deoxygenated blood is packed full of nutrients, such as glucose, from digestive metabolism, as well as harmful substances like alcohol and bacteria that must be detoxified and phagocytized by the liver. Let's now explore the major veins and the root of venous blood flow in the hepatic portal system. The right and left gastric veins drain blood from the stomach directly into the hepatic portal vein. The inferior mesenteric vein drains portions of the large intestine and empties this blood into the splenic vein. Mesenteric refers to the mesenteries, the folds of membranes and connective tissues that make up the peritoneum, which attaches the GI organs to the abdominal wall. The splenic vein, in addition to receiving blood from the inferior mesenteric vein, not surprisingly drains the spleen, along with portions of the stomach, pancreas, and large intestine. It empties directly into the hepatic portal vein. The superior mesenteric vein drains blood from most of the small intestine and portions of the large intestine. It, along with the splenic vein, empties into the hepatic portal vein. And the star of the show, the hepatic portal vein, is a large diameter vein that collects all of the drained blood from the GI organs and spleen and delivers it into the sinusoidal capillaries of the liver. It bypasses the normal route of venous blood flow in the abdomen, which is into the inferior vena cava, in order for the liver to process the GI and splenic blood. After the liver performs its various duties, several hepatic veins drain the processed blood out of the liver and deliver it into the inferior vena cava, where it is then combined with the rest of the systemic venous blood and transported into the right atrium of the heart.